Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Religion, homeland, and humanity united together construction, not destruction. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, We have honored the children of Adam and carried them by land and sea. We have provided good, good sustenance for them and favored them especially above many of those we have created. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Religions were revealed to achieve the interest of people and lands whenever the public interest and welfare, welfare is achieved. There is Allah's sacred law. Religion is not isolated from the movement and development of the universe. Rather, it is the art of making life, not making death. The culture of construction, not destruction. Reform, not corruption. The Almighty Allah said, it was he who brought you into being from the earth and assigned you to develop it. Allah, glory be to him, also said, Do not corrupt the earth after it has been set right, call on him, fearing and hoping. The mercy of Allah is close to those who do good. Religion. Religion and homeland integrates and do not contradict each other. Together they establish the foundations of work perfection, construction, and building. The Almighty Allah said, Do good, for Allah loves those who do good. Allah also said, We witness you when you are engaged in an action, not even a weight of a speck of, of dust in the earth or a sky escapes your Lord, nor anything lesser or greater. It's all written in a clear record. It is all written in a clear record. The Prophet ﷺ said, Allah loved that. Whenever any of you do something, you should perfect it. Religion, homelands, and humanity all call for a societal solidarity and achieving harmony and compassion among people. Our Prophet ﷺ has said, Allah has mercy on those who are merciful. If you show mercy to those who are in the earth, he who is in the heaven will show mercy to you. The Prophet ﷺ also said that believers in regard of a mutual love, affection, full of feeling, is that like one body. When any lamps of it aches, the whole body aches because of the sleeplessness and favor. All religions show mercy, justice, tolerance, easiness, and these meanings are fostered by a normal humanist and true patriotism. When reflecting the life of our Prophet ﷺ, one can notice harmony between religion, homeland, and humanists, which is an evident in the events of the Prophet ﷺ migration. When the Prophet ﷺ was forced to leave his land, Mecca, he turned to it and said, How good you are as a land! And how dare you are to my heart. Had your people not forced me out of you, I would have never come out and I would have never resided in any other city but you. When the Prophet ﷺ migrated to Medina and settled there, he prayed to Allah saying, O oh Allah, make us love Medina as you made us love Mecca or more. And on the night of the migration, the Prophet ﷺ asked Ali ibn Abi Talib to sleep in his place and return the return deposits to the owners from among the disbelievers and polytheists. We can also note this integration in the Prophet ﷺ faithfulness to his companion in his migration. Abu Bakr Siddiq, may Allah be pleased with him, he peace be upon him was the most faithful one to his companion, family. And nations, a nation. He be speak upon him said. He be speak upon him said. There is no one who had done 
more favor to me with life and property than Abu Bakr ibn Abu Quhafa. If I were to take a friend, I would certainly have taken Abu Bakr. But the Islamic brotherhood is a superior. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad وسلم, his companions and followers. There is no doubt that religion, patriotism, and humanity requires coexistence and tolerance among all people. These concepts agree on the necessity of preserving human life, status, and dignity in absolute terms. Whatever man's color, race, or religion, the Almighty Allah said, We have honored the children of Adam. Also Allah Most High said, if anyone kills a person unless it's a retribution for murder or spreading corruption in the land, as if he kills all mankind, while if any saves a life, it is as if he saved the lives of all mankind. Allah also said, People, we created you all from a single man and single woman and made you into races and tribes so that you should recognize one another. In Allah's eyes, the most honored of you is the one most mindful of Allah. Allah is all-knowing, all-aware. The Prophet وسلم, has said, an Arab has no superiority over an Arab, nor does an Arab has any superiority over an Arab, nor while a white has no superiority over a black, nor does a black have any superiority over a white. None have superiority over another except by a piety and good action. Our Prophet ﷺ has applied this coexistence practically through his dealing in Medina. He established a system of a peaceful coexistence within a framework of a pure, humanist and sincere patriotism. He said Medina constitution, which is the best model of a peaceful coexistence. In this constitution, the Prophet ﷺ established for the non-Muslim the same rights and duties of uh, those of Muslim. It is sufficient to reflect on the contents of this document that reads, Jews shall be considered as one community, Ummah, along with the with the believers for the Jews their religion and for the Muslim theirs all this requires cooperation to achieve public interest and the national international level and prevent public corruption the national international level the corruption the cooperation to confront tourist groups and advocates of corruption and chaos as well as cooperation addressing climate challenges and the negative effect of the climate change. We all need to work together for all of that is good for the human regardless of the religion, color or sex. How much do we need to be aware of this integration between religion, homeland and humanity in order to achieve security, stability and progress for our beloved country? We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.